Hello and welcome to the intro to the Zinnia Journal app. In today's beginner video, we're going to be reviewing all of the features of the app to get you up and running. Now the app is broken down into two main parts here, journals and the studio. The studio has some great features and articles on things included in the app. But today we're gonna to take a look at journals. First, we'll start with our quick start guide, which is a step-by-step -step process that you can read through to get yourself familiar with the app and all of the main parts. You can read that at your leisure and of course always go back to it as a resource. To get started, just click new journal and you can start with a brand new blank page or check out one of our full journals, which is a pre-made journal with all of the main pages you need to get started for yourself. Of course, if you wanna customize and start from scratch, you can click on new journal and click start with a new page. Once you get here, you get some great options of multiple paper colors that you can choose, which you can change throughout your entire journal. Also, a great selection of page styles from blank to dotted grids, grids, line paper, and even a page spread. Let's start with a dot grid today. Along with page style and color customization, you can also customize what the front of your journal looks like. If you click the close button on the top left of your pages, you'll be taken out to your main journal page. Now click on the three dots in the lower left hand corner of your journal to customize the name. You can also choose custom photos for the front of your journal, any of the color options here, or these fantastic designs. It's a really great way to get yourself set up and starting the right way. Once you're done customizing the front of your journal, you click done in the top right corner and then click back into your new custom journal where we'll go ahead and start our first page. All of your main options are gonna be in the center top of your page, stickers, images, text, and drawing. So let's start with our drawing tool. At the bottom of the page, you'll see some options pop up. If you click on the plus on the first three, you have all these great options to choose from. If you want, before you get started, you can select the three main tools that you know that you're going to use in your spreads. Of course, you can change them and their colors at any time. To the left of your pen tools, you have two options. The first one is to choose the width or thinness of each of your items, as well as the opacity. You can control that by using the slider or clicking on each of the predetermined thicknesses or opacity on the screen. Inside of the app, you can either use your finger to draw or use the tools, or if you have an Apple Pencil, you can use that as well. Every pencil, pen, marker, airbrush tool has a different feel and a different look, so make sure you're exploring as you're going along. And if at any point you want to erase what you're doing, simply choose your eraser tool. Along with all the varieties of tools, you also have great color choosing options as well. If you click on the plus button on any of the colors, you can see a fantastic color picker here. You can also choose the color picker icon in the top right of that screen, hover over top of the image or color that you're looking to grab, and then it'll automatically choose that color for you for what you wanna to start to use next. Let's go ahead and start our new page and swipe to the left and click new page in the middle, and let's explore the text button. All you have to do is tap on that icon in the top center, click anywhere on your page and start typing. Using your Apple Pencil or finger, you can select one of the anchors on the corner to resize it. And if at any point you tap on the text in the bottom center, you'll see the A icon for all of your text options, including a huge variety of text families. When you find a font that you like, click the left arrow on the top left of that box. And from here, you can take a look and see you also have options around size, line spacing, and color. If at any point you need to make the text box larger or smaller, you can grab the handles on the left and right and then resize using the quarter anchors. If at any point you'd like to add your own photos to your pages, you can click on the image icon in the top center to choose any image that you'd like to add to your pages. Now it's time to explore one of the most fun features of this app, it's stickers. So once you click on the sticker icon in the center of your screen, you'll see all of these different categories to choose from. Let's start with templates first. Inside of the templates category, you'll find a ton of pre-made page designs for you to click and choose to add to any of your journal pages. Since we're always updating and adding new content to the app, you'll always find the most up-to-date calendars but if you want to choose your own, we also have blank ones for you as well. When it's time to start customizing your pages, one of the best places to explore is going to be the sticker section of the app. 
Inside of the sticker category, we have tons of categories, illustrations, icons, everything you could ever possibly want right here for you. All you have to do is click on the sticker that you want, add it to your page, and then resize it using your Apple Pencil or your fingers. We have a lot of elements that you can add, stack, color, draw on. The options are almost endless. And since we're always adding new content, there'll always be something new for you to find. If at any point you get stuck or you need some inspiration, we've also included a fantastic theme section. What we've done here is grouped liked content that we know will work great together. All of the elements inside of the Zinnia app are here. Papers, cards, stickers, text items, dividers, everything perfectly curated just for you so you can get inspired and start creating your own custom design pages for your very own digital journal. The next category we're gonna check out is the cards category. Inside of cards, we have a wonderful collection of different inspirational designs that you can add to any page. These cards are great to write notes on, add photos to, as well as stacking and layering stickers and other elements from other categories. Another really fun category to explore is the writables. Inside of this collection exist stickers that are very special. Each one already has editable text boxes inside of them. You can add quotes, funny sayings, or simply inspiring words to add to all of your custom created and personal journals. We've also added editable post-it notes to add to all of your pages. These are great for notes, shopping lists, or anything else you need to track during your week. The next section that we're going to check out are signifiers. These include some really great elements similar to what you may have seen inside of other bullet journals or note-taking apps. These are easy to click on, add, duplicate on any of your pages to create a really fun and functional page. This section also includes some really great editable stickers you can add, for instance, step tracking, as well as hydration. A great feature of all of the elements inside of the app is that you can use any of your drawing tools right over top. All you have to do is click on the drawing icon again, choose the tool that you'd like to use, and start drawing right over top. The next category we're gonna take a look at are the dividers. In this category, there's a huge selection of page dividers that you can use. These work really well for dividers for headers, in between content on pages, to decorate your pages, and anything else you can think of in between. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start a brand new page here, blank slate, because now we're gonna check out text. Now underneath the text category, you have a lot of really great options to pick from. For example, underneath text, we have an entire library of individual letters in a bunch of different styles. And all you have to do is tap on each one and load it onto your main page. And then you can move them outside of here individually or group them together as one piece and resize and move around your page. If at any point you want to select multiple items like all of these text options, all you have to do is long press on the screen using your finger or Apple Pencil, and that will allow you to group and ungroup and move elements together. You can also lock those elements so no matter what you do with your page, they don't move. The text category also includes numbers, days of the week, months, and headers. The text category includes so many great options that help you quickly and easily create spreads of your own. If you're not quite confident yet with your digital handwriting, but you want something different than the text box options, there's plenty of styles for you to choose from from this category for quick and easy layouts. The next category that we're going to check out is the washi tape. Each one is dynamic, both in length and width and height with realistic edges and so many options for you to create really cool and exciting additions to your pages. We are going to take a quick stop into our frames category here just to show off some of the amazing designs and collections that exist. Frames look really great over top of photos or on their own. In this case, we can use our pen tool to create our own custom header for our page. Another great category for layering is the paper section. This is like having an entire craft store right in your hands. The paper section includes so many great options like watercolor, patterns, designs, and so many more. We're so excited for you to check out all of the different options that we have in here and see the beautiful creations that you make. Throughout this intro video, we've talked about layering, 
Real quick, I wanted to show you how you can control your layers in the app. I've gone ahead and selected a few different items from the categories. In the bottom center of the page, you'll see three icons. First is the trash can, when you want to delete something, and then the up and down layers. Once you select the item that you want to move, you can click the up and down arrow to move it forwards or backwards. Then you can select your item again and resize it to perfectly fit your page and design. Now that you have the basics of the app, it's time to get started on your own, creating a new page, exploring all of these great categories, and quickly and easily setting up your own pages to start your own planning, journaling, or memory keeping. We are always adding new content to the app and we cannot wait to see what you create.